this is a very conceptual question. Here is a man with a bag in his hand, he falls from a height h, he starts falling from a height h, when he reaches a height small h from the ground, he realizes that the ground below is very hard. So, you, he sees a point a pond nearby at a distance x from the line of fall of the man. So, he decides to throw away, throw away his suitcase in the opposite direction, so that he falls in the pond. He is a very intelligent person and he knows a little bit of physics due to which he knows that he can do it. So, the question is with what minimum horizontal velocity should he throw the bag with respect to himself on the other side, so that he himself falls in the pond. The second part of the question is where does the bag land? So, let us solve this question. For the first part, the man falls free falls a height h minus h. So, we can directly write down its velocity to be root over 2 g h minus h, because initial velocity was 0, acceleration is equal to g and displacement is equal to h minus h. We get the final velocity by v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s to be root over 2 g h minus h. So, the final velocity that is the velocity at this point of man is root over 2 g into h minus h. Now, when the man throws the bag, he is already going down, down with velocity v. Now, he throws the bag relative to himself with a velocity v dash. He throws the bag with respect to himself horizontally that is v dash. Now, the velocity of this bag with respect to ground will be velocity of this bag with respect to man plus velocity of man with respect to ground that is v. Now, in this process, this man also acquires a velocity v double dash on the right side. This has to happen because when we consider this system of man and bag, there is no horizontal force acting on this system in the horizontal direction due to which the momentum of the system of bag and man in the horizontal direction should remain conserved because momentum in the horizontal direction can change only due to a force in the horizontal direction. So, because of a lack of force in the horizontal direction, we can conserve the momentum of these two objects. Initially, they were falling in the vertical direction. So, the initial momentum of these two in the horizontal direction was 0. So, the final momentum has to be 0 again. So, when this was imported a velocity in the, in the left direction, man acquired a velocity in the right direction. So, as to balance the momentum. This bag is of mass m and this of mass m. So, we get m v dash is equal to m v double dash. So, we get a relation between v dash and v double dash. Now, now we know that we want to find out that what is the minimum velocity imparted to bag that is what is minimum v dash. So, that man lands on pond. For that, we need to find out what is the minimum v double dash, so that man falls in the pond. Now, we can first find out, let us find out the time which the man takes to fall to the ground. That is a vertical direction motion and that is independent of the horizontal velocities imparted. Therefore, for the vertical direction motion, initial velocity now was root over 2 g into h minus h, acceleration was equal to g and displacement is equal to h. So, the time taken can be found out as s is equal to u t plus half v t square. Therefore, displacement h is equal to root over 2 g into h minus h into t plus half g t square. This is a quadratic equation in time whose solution can be easily found out. So, the quadratic equation we get is g t square by 2 plus root over 2 g into h minus h into t minus h is equal to 0. So, we get the time as minus of root over 2 g h minus h plus root over, we take the plus sign because negative time cannot be negative plus 2 g into h minus h plus 2 g h upon g. 
so this is our time m v dash is equal to m v double dash so the time we get is time is equal to root over 2 g h minus root over 2 g h minus h upon g now for the horizontal direction motion of the man horizontal direction motion we need to cover this x displacement in this time t therefore his velocity on the right side was v double dash therefore v double dash into t equals x therefore v double dash is equal to x upon t therefore we get v double dash is equal to x upon x into g upon root over 2 g h minus root over 2 g into h minus h now we know that v dash is equal to m v double dash upon m by momentum conservation so we multiply this by m upon m to get the minimum velocity to be imparted to the bag by the man so that man lands in pond now the second part of the question is where does the bag land for that part there are two ways of solving the question again one way is quite easy i'll tell you the difficult difficult way first which most people will use they know the horizontal velocity v dash of the bag they know the vertical direction velocity of the bag they'll find out the time taken for it to fall and then multiply that time by this v dash to get the dis displacement or the distance where it falls but this method is very lengthy and useless the better way is that you use a little bit of your extra concepts which you have learned of center of mass now for this system there was no external force in the horizontal direction so we again go about thinking about the sequence because we have been asked about displacement so we again go that go over that sequence that the net external force is zero then the acceleration of center of mass is zero let this be the system the net external force in the horizontal direction is zero on this system therefore the acceleration of center of mass in the horizontal direction is zero the initial velocity of the center of mass of the system in the horizontal direction was zero therefore the displacement of center of mass of this system will be zero so when these two objects fall to the ground when these two objects fall to the ground this was the line of motion man falls to the, to the pond that is at a distance x and this bag falls somewhere here that is x dash but we know that the total displacement of the center of mass should be zero so we write the displacement of center of mass equation that is equal to m into x let this direction be positive plus m into minus x dash that is equal to zero upon something we do not care about that so we get x dash is equal to mx upon m so this part you can direct get the direct answer directly that the displacement of the bag or the, the position where the bag lands on the ground is at a distance of mx upon m from the line of fall the answer to the velocity minimum to be imparted to the bag was m upon m into x g upon root over 2 g h minus root over 2 g h minus h so final answer stands as this is the velocity minimum to be imparted to the bag and this is the distance from the line of fall where, where the bag lands